Oh, man. I've been waiting for this package for months. And it has finally arrived, the Anchor Make M5. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the initial setup of the machine and what it takes to get it up and running. But before we get into the video, I want to make sure and give a special thanks to all of those who have subscribed already to this channel. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoy the Anchor Make content that is on its way. But for now, let's dive into the setup of the machine. So this video is not really going to be an unboxing per se, but part of the setup process for this machine is the unboxing experience because you use the foam pieces as part of the assembly process. So I've already got this table sliced up because there's a lot of it. All right, so let's take a look at how this initial setup goes. So let's see, we've got this first piece of foam here. And then on top, we've got all the accessories. So looks like we've got our extra hot end. That's great. I'm going to put stuff up over here on my shelf. And we've got some extra nozzles and the assembly screws. And I was a backer on Kickstarter, so I think this was part of the Kickstarter campaign, along with some other things in the box here. Um, so if you bought it after the Kickstarter, I can't guarantee what's in your package. So just make sure you know what you're getting. Then we also get uh, 150 grams of black filament. We also get some white, a kilo of Anchor Make uh, PLA plus white. Looks like we get two of those. So I think that's another part of the Kickstarter campaign is those two bowls of free filament. We've got our filament holder, and then we've got a tool kit that's got some snippers and an Allen key interchangeable set, and then our quick start guide, and our power cable. So, with all of that off the first layer, it is time to take off this top layer of foam. But don't toss it aside, because we will be using it. But there we have it. There's the gantry part, I think is what it's called. Like I said in my first video, I am not a 3D printing expert. This is my first 3D printer, but I think this is what up and down is called the gantry. With this packaging, we need to kind of lay it out properly. So we have this small fin piece that was on top that goes up against the uh, the top layer piece or the, yeah and then from there we take this gantry layer and then we set it on top of this first foam piece just like that looks like we've got the, our two magnetic plates so there's the one that was stuck to it, and then the extra one, also part of the Kickstarter campaign, the spare PEI metal plate. And now, let's get into this bottom layer. We have our base. Here's the base of the machine. So we'll set that there. All right, so now that we've got all the pieces out, we have uh, the gantry here that's in this foam piece, but we need to move it a little bit. All right, so we'll pull out these cables that are in here and then we want to lift it out and then just shift it forward one section so that this crossbar is one segment up. And then make sure it's level on the back piece, or the bottom piece. And then now we're ready for the base plate. But we're gonna get our screws ready. So we have the M5 screws and we need eight of them comes with nine in the bag which is great all right so now that we have our base platform here we have our screws ready we need our hex key now we can begin with our installation of the base platform we need to pop off this back cover 
And then now we're ready to feed these cables through. So let's feed that through there. This through the other side. And then we'll hoist the frame onto the posts. So now we just take all the bolts and then there's four points around the posts that we need to insert our screws. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that all of the uh, screws are um, at least most of the way in, we'll just go around and cinch them up the rest of the way and that will securely attach the gantry to the base. Awesome. So now that we have the screws installed, now there's just a few cables that we need to attach. These two here, and there's also these two little white ones that go into uh, the metal plates. Okay, for this part, we need the M2.5 screws. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these white cables and we're just gonna plug these in to these slots here on the back of these motors on both sides. They'll only really go in one way. They've got little grooves on the back to make sure they do only go in the right way. And next we have these USB cables, which is interesting to see. USB-C inside of a machine for cabling. Um, but those go upwards into the ports in here. Left on the left side, right on the right side. And they just go in until they click. And then, this is where we take the screws. We need a smaller bit from our case. So we need the number two. Uh, number two bit. And then the screws go in this way into the ports or the little holes on the sides of the USB. Okay, cool. Those are all tight. And now, what we need to do with these extra cables is just fit the USB cables in these channels along with the flat ribbon wire. Now, the instructions do say to put it in these extra ones here, but I don't know that I can get them that tight. They're like, they're really tight if I, I don't want to really kink the cables like that. Um, but I don't, there's no moving parts down here and the cables are really stiff as they are. So I'm pretty sure it's fine to just leave them out like that. I'd rather do that than kink the cable. Cover back and we'll just uh, slide it into place and click click we're ready to go okay so now we're just gonna tip up the machine just literally just tilt it up and there we go let's move some of this foam out of the way there is the anchor make m5 all set up and ready to go well almost i need to do a few more things first all right, one thing we need to do is we need to install the, the filament holder and that goes over here on the side. So for that, we need the M4 screws and we need four of them. And then there's just four holes here in the back. Four, uh, there's four up top and four down low, depending on where you want to put it. I'm gonna put mine up here at the top. Now in the instructions, it doesn't necessarily show this horizontal configuration on the top, but there's literally nothing that I can see being an issue with it up here. Because they have it as a horizontal option down here and a vertical option up here, but not horizontal here. But uh, yeah, I don't see any reason why this wouldn't work. So we're gonna go with it and we'll hope it doesn't cause any issues. And there we go. Now we need the power cable. 
I like to plug it into the machine first, and then we'll go into the wall. All right, let's turn it on for the first time. Here we go. There's a switch on the back by the plug. Here we go. So we got the screen here. Oh, let's peel this plastic. Nice. Set that aside. It'll do its startup. And it'll be really loud. And the fans will crank all the way up. And now when yours comes, it may ask you for a firmware update. Uh, to do that, you'll just need to connect to the Wi-Fi with your phone. Um, and the Anchor Make app. And then you can set up the Wi-Fi on here. And then it will download the update as it needs to. From there, you should be ready to go. Let's move this guy up a little bit. So let's see. Control. Move right there. Okay, so let's go up in big increments. And we want Z up. Before moving an axis, you need to perform a homing. Okay, let's perform a homing. So it'll make sure all the motors are in the right spots. Okay, so we need to do, we need to go up, we need to go up again, we need to just go up a bunch so that we have space to put this plate on. So, now that we have space to put the plate on, let's just line up the back edge. No, now we need to go over a little bit, line up the back edge. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, now let's go home on this again. Just because we changed the level with the plate, so it'll be thicker now. And let's do a Z homing too. I guess that's the one that I really needed to do. Cool. Now that that is homed, uh, the first thing you'll want to do is do an auto level. So it'll preheat first. And then it will run through the auto-leveling process. Alright, so the bed leveling is complete. It took about 10 minutes or so. So, let's hit done. I don't know, let's check out our Z offset. I've read some things on Discord, the community for this printer. And you should probably add a little bit of Z offset. Otherwise, it might kind of drag on the plate, which I don't want. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is loading up some filament. So let's just start with this basic black PLA from Anchor Make. And then, first thing we need to do with this new filament is just trim it off at a 45 degree angle. And then we'll take this and make sure that the spool is going outwards so that it has a nice smooth and shallow reaching of the hole. Otherwise, if it's like this, then it'll be coming down like this and it'll be twisting because it goes against the natural bolt. So just make sure that it's uh, this way. And then what we need to do is just push this through. Just push this through, there we go. Once it gets past the little measurement thing in here, we'll get this all the way through the pipe. I think I see it about right there. And then once it stops, there it stopped. Now we need to push the button here. And then just keep pushing a little bit more until it stops again. So like that, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this um, up again. There we go. Now let's load the filament by going to in the control menu. So control, extrude, and it says, please lift the nozzle away from the heat bed to avoid nozzle blockage. We did that. 
And then now we hit extrude. So it's going to preheat. Let's make sure that our thing is all the way in. And so now it is extruding. So now let's hit extrude again. There we go. There's a nice little pile. Cool. And there's our loaded filament. And there's our first mini 3D print. Beautiful, ain't she? And then, now all we can do, all we need to do, is just start a print of whatever we want. All right, there we go. That is the initial setup of the Anchor Make M5. It's very straightforward. The manual is very well laid out. It's very easy to follow. Just make sure you don't drop screws inside the machine because they're hard to get out. I learned that the hard way. Let me know any questions you have in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Like I said, this is my first 3D printer as well, but I really wanted to share how easy the setup really is. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more AnchorMate content coming up in the future. Again, thank you to all of those who have already subscribed. I'm excited to have you along on my journey. And until the journey continues, see ya.